Hi friends, welcome to Victor's Reality. Today we're going to be reviewing the Razer Wrist Rest Pro with cooling gel infused cushion technology. So this is on the Black Widow Elite. As you can see, up top is the standard stock wrist rest that comes with the keyboard. On the bottom is the HyperX cooling gel wrist rest. And that's my favorite wrist rest right now. Currently, it's the softest. It's the coolest. The fabric is just perfect. The grip is perfect. Everything is awesome. So it's going to be cool to see if this Razer wrist rest with cooling gel can compete with the HyperX. Now, as you can see, Cool gaming comfort, cooling gel infused cushion, anti-slip rubber feet, and compatible with all full-size keyboards. And it also has the width and the height in millimeters so you can measure it for your size of keyboards. And you can see here on the bottom it has the angle with the amount of height it has for your keyboard to see if it'll fit your keyboard at an angle. This is an angled wrist rest just like the stock that comes with the Razer Black Widow Elite. So just note that and it also does not have the magnet you will see later in the video. Those are the only two major things pointing out. But as you can see here, the memory foam, the cooling gel and the fabric, all those three things. And let's see if Razer can compete with the HyperX and also if it's an improvement over the stock regular pleather. So let's check it out. Now, as you can see, all black stealth Razer logo, everything looks nice, nothing popping out or standing out. Just a nice looking wrist rest. Now, as you can see here, the material is really nice if we put it right. And if we quickly compare it to the HyperX, let's just see how plush it is compared to it. Here is a picture. As you can see, the HyperX is a lot more plush. And this is at full front face value. As you can see, just how they look. The Razer does look nice, but the HyperX is more plush. And the stock being stock here in the back of the wrist rest, so you can see it seems that the new Razer cooling gel, the bottom one, has less pads on the bottom than the stock and of course less than the HyperX in grip. So as you can see, it's number one on top, number two in the middle and number three. Why would Razer do that? I don't know. They should have left it the same. But we will test out to see if wrist rest pressure will move the wrist rest. And as you can easily see, the HyperX does win drastically in the plush department. You can easily see here in the video, the plush extends all the way across the whole wrist rest while on the razor, the plush is more pronounced in the middle. You can see the form of the padding on the razor while on the HyperX is just all plush. The whole wrist rest is plush while just the center part of the wrist rest because it's at an angle, the razor wrist rest does feel more firm. The fabric feels about the same, but I would say it feels nicer on the HyperX because it's more plush. Easily, the HyperX wins in fabric material. It wins in the plush department, and it has a lot more padding, as you can easily see here. Right away, I can feel that the HyperX is a lot more comfortable. I'm talking about a lot more comfortable, really. There is no need to get the Razer if you have the HyperX, or if you're looking to get either of these two, the HyperX wins hands down easy no contest and i could tell you for a fact right now the cooling gel on the hyperx is a lot better than the razor again these are my observations i have everything razor i love razor so i can tell you from experience of me liking a brand you think i'd go with the razor but no there is no loyalty to any company the hyperx wins here all around and it's an easy decision get the HyperX. But let's just say you didn't want the HyperX and you just want to stick with Razer. Let's compare the stock Razer with this new cooling gel. As you can see, they're both at an angle. They both look to have the same amount of plushness, but I could tell you right now, the pleather does feel softer than this firm foam material. It feels like the cooling one has very little foam and a layer of cooling gel and the cooling gel it is super firm because there is not enough memory foam. They should have added more memory foam. Maybe I'd be saying a different story. Maybe I'd be telling you different, but I'm telling you right now, I prefer the stock Razer wrist rest in terms of plush. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't cool. Yes, it is more cooler than the stock one, but I would not run out and buy this one thinking, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get 10 times the cooling performance. No, the stock one is more than enough. And if you really want to get cooling technology on your wrist rest, you got to go with the HyperX because that destroys the razor easily. Now, as you can see, this does not have a magnetic hold, so it won't hold onto your keyboard like the stock does. It moves with a little bit of pressure on the sides. As you can see here, it just latches on to the keyboard. And I'm trying to give a little bit of pressure. And as you can see, it does not come off. So 
again hands down the stock is better than the cooling one but again if you prefer the design the sleekness the fabric and i'm just showing you here what to expect if you are thinking of getting it now if you're typing away you're playing you put pressure as you can see it doesn't go down it's not going to slide or anything there is enough holding on the bottom of the wrist rest but as you can see this one is a lot better it latches on to the keyboard magnetically and there is more rubber feet area to hold your wrist rest and let's try the HyperX here in terms of hold. There is no hold because it's not at an angle. But as you can see, it's flat. It has the whole bottom side is rubberized, so it's not going to go anywhere. And it's a lot more comfortable and a lot more cooler. Meaning cooling gel technology wise, I would go with the HyperX all day, every day. And again, if you want cooling gel, the HyperX. If you want comfort, the HyperX. And they're both about the same size. And if you don't want the angle, of course, as you can see here, the HyperX wins all around. Now, this is a review of the Razer cooling gel wrist rest, but I do have the HyperX and I do have the stock to compare to show you because a review is not a review unless you compare to its competition. And I'm telling you right now, if you're a Razer fan and it's all you want is Razer, and if you want a cooler kind of wrist rest, the Razer cooling gel infused cushion is the only one Razer makes right now. The Razer cooling gel is beautiful, as you can see, nice and sleek. It's just that it does not beat the stock, in my opinion, and it does not come close to offering as much value of the HyperX gel infused cushion. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss out on a future video. I'll see you guys next time.